Hey guys, CDTV the G here, and the G of course stands for grab that subscribe button and just tap it lightly because we are very close to hitting 50,000 subscribers, which is a very nice milestone, so I would appreciate you subscribing. You know, you can watch the video first, don't feel like I'm forcing you to do anything. And today, I'm gonna be reacting to the new song from Joyner Lucas and Chris Brown called Just Let Go. I'm always looking forward to songs from these two. I just want the goddamn Angels and Demons album, and I don't even know if we're gonna get one at this point. I think Joyner Lucas or someone said that is just gonna be the name of anything that Joyner Lucas and Chris Brown drop together, rather than than an actual album itself. I can't remember if that's true. I swear I heard that somewhere. But hey, if this song is good, you know, I can't complain. We're already two for two so far. Stranger Things is absolutely brilliant. I love that song. I Don't Die is fantastic as well. The reaction to that is actually up on this channel. So you can check that out after this video if you want as well. From the sounds of the snippets on Instagram, I just listened to a very small bit of it. It does sound like it's going to be a lot more commercial and, and, and a little bit more poppy than I Don't Die in Stranger Things, but as long as they manage to make it sound good, I don't really, I don't really mind about that. Let's jump right into this song. Jonah Lucas, Chris Brown, Just Let Go, Let's Go. I will make this bunny disappear. Alright, let's see it. Did you just dab three times? That's a yikes for me, dog. And it didn't even disappear, you're, you're fucking, fucking trash. trash. Well, that didn't go well. Now we have uh, Joyner Brown and Chris Lucas. No, but... The name swapped Joyner. around. Oh, it's like a mini Joyner and Chris Brown in the video. That's pretty cool. Way, it's your way. Pour some drinks, just a couple. I know you've been through pain. There's some things I can't undo. Back and forth, trapped and bored. It's not a magic floor behind a padded door. Yeah. All my emotions in an attic store. It's not a bag of orbs in a cabin drawer. And you wonder why nigga play. Nice rhymes. Yeah. And I know you like drunk sex. Yeah, yeah. I hope you ain't come yet. <laughs> That's very inappropriate for a kid's talent show. That's okay then. You're my future. That's so raven. That's amazing. Mm. So, so far, the, the sound of it is alright. Definitely sounds like it's attempted to be much more of a mainstream hit with this kind of beat. It's one of those beats you could dance to, you know? It's got a little bit of that kind of rhythm to it. And in terms of the vocals and the lyrics, it's got a slower, intimate vibe to it, which kind of reminds me of Joyner songs like... I mean, it's got, it's got a pretty different message to this one in a way, but just because... It sounds like that because of the slower flow he's using, the more kind of, like I said, intimate vocals on this track. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it yet, sounding so obviously poppy, you know, like it's trying to be a pop hit, but I'm sure Chris Brown is going to sound very smooth over something like this, so let's see what he comes through with. But I'm sure Chris Brown is going to sound very smooth over something like this. Okay, maybe not. Oh, this is definitely trying to get played in the club. I thought I would love that Chris Brown hook because his hook game is usually so smooth, but I don't I don't really think I like that one that much. The the just let go thing. His voice is great as always. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that his voice necessarily sounds bad, but the way that's delivered, it just sounds very awkward. I think it's maybe because I'm always expecting really kind of like powerful hooks from Chris Brown. Something like I Don't Die, where it's really emphatic and it really hits you. Regardless of whether it's a poppy song or not, there's still poppy songs where he has really powerful hooks but this definitely isn't that and I, I don't really I don't really like the way it sounds honestly that pre-chorus is kind of nice the pre-chorus is hitting me a little bit I can't take that seriously. You hear me, cause you ain't listening. You ain't listening. You ain't heard me. You be tripping, I be bugging. We ain't perfect. Yeah. I love your peace of mind. I love your conscience. Ain't no options. My apple meets the eyes. Back and forth. Yeah, back and forth. Side to side. You ain't listening. We alright. Let me free your soul. Let me ease your mind. I definitely like the pre-chorus more than the actual chorus itself. He's definitely not old enough to drive that Lambo. 
That is most certainly illegal. Yeah, as far as an actual song, I think this one's decent, but it's easily, easily my least favourite out of all the three singles that Joyner Lucas and Chris Brown have done together so far. Stranger Things and I Don't Die are miles ahead of this, miles ahead of it. And it's not purely because of the fact it's poppy, I don't mind poppy songs or more mainstream type hits, but it's just the way this one in particular was done. It just didn't grab my interest as much as Stranger Things or I Don't Die did. You know, Stranger Things and I Don't Die sound much more influenced by Joyner Lucas's style, whereas this song, this song sounds more influenced by Chris Brown's style, you know? And you know, that's perfectly fine, it's good to have a good balance like that, but there was just nothing too groundbreaking here. A very standard concept for a Chris Brown song. There's even lines here that's similar to lines he's used on a pre-chorus before. Just feels like a very standard Chris Brown club song that, for some reason, in the music video is performed by kids at a talent show. And as far as the rapping goes, the rapping was all good on it. Joyner's verse was quite nice. Chris Brown's verse was really nice on here. I liked his I liked his verse. Yeah, it's just it's just okay. It's just okay. The main thing that really ruins it for me is the hook. I just can't take that seriously with how Chris Brown's vocals go when he says just let go. So that's what I think of Just Let Go by John Lucas and Chris Brown. An okay song nothing too great. So what do you guys think about this track? Let me know down in the comments below. Let me know if you enjoyed it, if you didn't enjoy it, if you were a fan of the more poppy sound that this song went for. And that's all I've got to say for today guys, so I would appreciate you leaving a like if you enjoyed the video, like I said subscribing because we're so close to 50k. And if you want to keep up with me on social media, you can find me everywhere under the name CDTV Productions. That's on Twitter and Instagram mainly. So thank you so much for watching guys, I will see you all in the next one, and this is CDTV The G, signing out.